Hello, Year Nines. As you know, English is compulsory at GCSE. You actually get two GCSEs. The first one I'm going to talk about is English Literature GCSE. As you can see, you will be assessed on a Shakespeare play and also a 19th century novel. We will be studying Macbeth and A Christmas Carol starting in year 10. Another part of your English Literature GCSE will be looking at set poetry. We're looking at poems to do with power and conflict. You also study a very interesting text called An Inspector Calls, which is partly a murder mystery, partly a thriller and partly a ghost story. These are the set texts for English literature. You will also be studying English language GCSE. There are two papers which form your grade. Your grade is split between reading questions and writing questions. You get an opportunity to be creative with your own descriptive writing in paper one, and in paper two, you are right to present a viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Lastly, for English language GCSE, you will have a spoken language endorsement. This doesn't form part of your grade, but you need to pass it to secure the English language GCSE. As you can see on this slide, there are many rich and varied opportunities where English can take you. If you have any other questions about English GCSEs, please speak to your English teacher. Hi Year Nines, this is Miss Lowe. I'm going to tell you all about Maths GCSE. Um, so we have the two-year course and that continues what you've been learning in Key Stage 3, um, number, algebra, geometry, statistics, probability and proportion. Um, the big difference is that we have two tiers, there is foundation and higher, so that will depend on your target grades and also how you get on um, throughout the course. So in year 10, the curriculum is very, very similar for foundation and higher. That means that you can move between foundation and higher really easily. Um, so don't panic too much. If you think that you're in the wrong tier, that can easily be changed. Um, the GCSE is assessed at the end of year 11, along with all of your other exams. You have three maths exams. One of them is a non-calculator, and you'll be pleased to hear that two of them are calculator papers. Year nines and the parents, because you're probably watching this online. Um, I am Mrs. Steen Camp. I am head of science, and I'm here to talk to you about what science involves. So, when you do science at secondary school, you will do biology, chemistry, and physics. We put them all together as something called combined science. So, you would have lessons with your biology teacher, with your chemistry teacher, and with your physics teacher and you would go through these three separate sciences. And then in the end, in year 11, you do some exams and you come out with two GCSEs. Some people would be invited to do triple science, which means you also do biology, chemistry and physics, but you'll just do a little bit more work to give you three GCSEs at the end, instead of the combined science where you would have two. Uh, separate sciences would be on invitation only, but we will get through most of that detail by the time you are at the end of your term. So after learning all of these really exciting topics, we need to know if you actually um, learned anything. And in science, we um, assess your knowledge by exams. So 100% exams. I know it looks daunting. Six exams looks a lot, but don't worry. We um, break it up. Paper one for biology, chemistry, physics. Paper two, biology, chemistry, physics, they put them all together in one big churn, they come up with a number, and every number means something. So, for example, let's say 520 means 55, five, and 780 means 78. And they have a nice formula to work that out. If you do separate sciences, you will also have six exams, but they will be ever so slightly longer, and you will get a GCSE grade for biology, and a GCSE grade for chemistry and a GCSE grade for physics. Now, this is a lot of information and some of you probably think I'll never remember this, but don't worry, you can always come and see Mr. Boucher or myself and we can talk you through that 